Yellow guys, it is Fluffy says here back on our video for you guys today. Today, guys, we're gonna be talking about troubleshooting tips for getting custom songs and BMBF on your Oculus Quest 2. A lot of you guys are having problems with my most recent tutorial. A lot of people think the tutorial is out of date and no longer works. I'm here to say that it does. That tutorial still works great, but you do have to follow everything step by step. And there is some problems that are occurring with BMBF that just take time to resolve. But that tutorial, link down in the description, or if you click the eye up in the top right, will currently still work as time of releasing this video. This video is merely about how to fix some of the problems you're having, what steps you are skipping, and what current problems are happening with B Saber. That is the website where you get all the songs, so what problems are happening there, and how you can get around those. With that being said, let's just jump straight into today's video. The way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be taking comments from my video and I'm going to be putting them on screen and then answering them kind of like a QA. and a I try and answer every comment, but it is so much easier for me to make a video like this where I can describe things as well as show things off. That way it's easier for people to understand without me having to write out paragraphs of text. So with that being said, let's get to the first one. If you get through all of the steps and you're having issues downloading songs, that is not a problem on your end most likely. If you are able to get to the B-Saber page through BMBF and you are able to get custom songs, but then eventually custom songs just stop working and you can no longer download things, and every single time you try and click the download button, a little red box appears in the bottom right saying error, that is not your fault. The reason that happens is because B-Saber is like any other website, it runs off of servers. If those servers go down, you can no longer access that website and download the files off of it. So if the BSaber servers are getting tons and tons of traffic, like let's say Christmas, where a bunch of new people are getting their headsets, the odds are the servers may crash and go down, meaning you won't be able to download any songs since the servers are not up and running. Don't worry, don't freak out, they'll come back on in their own time. It is annoying to have to wait, but this is a free mod that people pour their hearts into, so just give people time to work it out. If you are having the problem of an infinite loading black screen where you get those three white dots anytime you try and open up Beat Saber, that is a problem from you either not using the latest version of BMBF or you are not playing Beat Saber before installing BMBF. In my tutorial video, I tell you to uninstall Beat Saber and uninstall BMBF and then reinstall everything. That is only if you are updating. And of course, you still need to reinstall Beat Saber, play Beat Saber, then install BMBF. Do not play Beat Saber, then uninstall it, then reinstall it, then install BMBF, if that makes sense. You have to play Beat Saber at least once before installing BMBF without uninstalling it. Just make sure everything is on the latest version as well. Along with that, once you are done installing BMBF, do not click open at the end. If you click open, it will open up Beat Saber and it will not work at all. Click done. That final step after you finished installing it, click done, not open. If you are modding Beat Saber for your Oculus Quest, sadly there is no way for you to play multiplayer with people who are not modding their Oculus Quest. You are, however, able to play multiplayer with other people who have the Beat Together mod. If you get custom songs for Beat Saber, you install BMBF. BMBF then allows you to get special mods that are made for the quest. One of those mods is called Beat Together, which allows you to make private lobbies where you are able to play Beat Saber multiplayer. You are able to play Beat Saber multiplayer with custom songs as long as the person you are playing with also has that custom song and the Beat Together mod but you will not be able to do quick play multiplayer as long as you have BMBF installed on your Beat Saber. If you are asking the question, will you be banned? The only thing I can say for legal reasons is no one has been banned so far for getting BMBF on Beat Saber on their quest. I can't go on to say you won't get banned. There is a chance you could, but so far no one has been banned. So the risk is very, very low. If you're having difficulties connecting to SideQuest, so when you plug in your headset, for some reason that dot up in the top left is not turning green, there could be a couple problems. First, check if you're getting a notification sound when you actually plug in your headset. 
If you're not getting a notification sound, your cable may not transfer data or your headset may not be fully connected. Once you've checked that, it is now time to go into your headset. If you heard that sound notification, click allow access in your headset and then click allow ADB debugging. If you do not get the allow ADB debugging pop-up to appear, that means you do not have developer mode on for your headset. Developer mode can be turned on by clicking the video up in the top right if you click that eye or check the description. I'll teach you how to turn on developer mode. But you need developer mode in order to access SideQuest. It is 100% mandatory. So, turn on developer mode and then go there. If you have developer mode on, try turning off developer mode and turning it back on. That might give you the pop-up that you need to allow access and connect your headset. I do not know how common this is, but I had to return my Quest 2 because the charging port was actually broken. The connection was really fidgety and didn't always work. Whenever I would try and connect my headset to my computer, it would never really stay connected. If you are having the problem where you hear the connecting notification, but then it unconnects like right away, just check your headset. If you are having a very hard time using Oculus Link, or if you're having a hard time charging it really easily, then you might need to get a new headset. If you had BMBF before with a bunch of custom songs and you are now trying to update and you click restore and none of your custom songs come back, there is nothing I can really tell you besides unfortunate. It's supposed to back up automatically but does not work 100% of the time. It works about 75% of the time which eventually screws over a large majority of the people. Sadly though, that's just what's going to happen when you are using experimental mods that are made by people who did not actually make the game itself. Sadly, that is just the case with backing up your songs. It's not truly easy to do and it's not always 100%. If you are getting a pop-up at the beginning of opening up Beat Saber saying that you have to restore or you will be blocked by Facebook, do not worry about this message. Ignore it if possible, continue into your game and just play. There is no way to get rid of that message if it appears for you. It doesn't appear for everybody, but it does appear for some people. And if it appears for you, there is no way to get rid of it, just ignore it. If you are having the difficulties of once you ignore it, you get that black screen with the infinite loading dots, that means you messed up one of the steps as said earlier in the video. When installing the BMBF APK through SideQuest to your headset and you are getting an issue where it is not fully installing, you may have a broken version of the APK. Either it got corrupted via download or you got the wrong version. With that being said, delete it, go back to the bmbfdev.stable website and download the latest one again and see if it works. When browsing through BMBF, if you get all the songs you want and you're trying to sync it to your game and you go up to the top right to click that button and it's covered up by another button, the easiest way to get around this is to restart your headset. Normally a headset reboot will solve this issue, but if it doesn't, you may need to reinstall BMBF. If you are trying to get songs manually through your PC or if you're trying to get mods through BMBF, but you just can't get the page to load, even though you are putting in the right IP and port, you may have to check your computer for ethernet. A lot of people don't know what ethernet is. Ethernet is a physical cable that connects into your PC that gives it internet. If you look down at your internet, instead of seeing a Wi-Fi bar, you'll see a little monitor with an ethernet cable next to it. What you have to do is unplug that ethernet cable and connect to your Wi-Fi. If you do not do this, it will not work. Let's say you've also done this and it still doesn't work. You have to make sure your headset is plugged in with BMBF open. It needs to be detectable by SideQuest and it needs to be plugged in with BMBF open and running on the home page. Hopefully this video did help you out at least a little bit. If you haven't attempted getting custom songs for Beat Saber yet, I definitely recommend checking it out as it is the most entertaining thing about Beat Saber. If you want to figure out how to do that, check the video down linked in the description or if you click that I up in the top right. If this video did help you at all, make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you are new, and click that notification bell. That way you get notified of every stream, every tutorial video, and every gameplay video I will post for you guys. 
Thank you to my editor, Slim Jim, for editing today's video. His link will also be down in the description. He streams lots and lots of Beat Saber, so go follow his Twitch. Thank you to all of my members. You guys are absolute mad lads. My little lettuces, my bear cubs, and my mama bears. With that being said, though, I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.